What's up, ladies and gents? Welcome back to another one of these character reviews uh, for Genshin Impact. Uh, today I'm gonna do. Um, eh, I'll keep it on whatever. Uh, today I'm gonna do Jinsho. Now I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce his name correctly. I always said Jinkui, but that's just incorrect. Uh, I've heard Jinsho, I've heard Jinsho, yeah, whatever. I'll, I'm gonna keep calling him Jinsho because I think that's how you pronounce him. Um, I use timestamps if you want to skip to a certain part of the video because I do ramble a lot. But yeah, let's let's get straight into it. Uh, I will, a quick disclaimer, I don't really use this character. Uh, I've looked into his abilities a bit and I've, I use him in Spiral, but I don't really use him in Spiral, if that makes sense. Time to act. Uh, so my knowledge on the character is less, but I do want to do it because he's still in... Uh, the banner right now for a couple of days. So anyway, okay, let's get straight into it. Let's start off with his passive. Um, his passive is called Flash of Genius. When Jingshou uh, crafts character talent materials, he has a 25% chance to refund a portion of the crafting materials used. And so let's go to our um, to our thingy. Let's, uh, wait, was it talent? It was, okay. So let's say I'm gonna make Guide to Balance, and I need like 10 of these. Um, I can put him in this slot, I can craft, and then there's a 25% chance that I will get some materials refunded to me. And since, you know, talent usually, uh, let me see. Yeah, since talents usually only take like a type of book, you're basically gonna get the greens back for the blues or the blues back for the purples, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's, it's actually a decent passive to have in your roster because you're going to be farming those books. Yeah, that's his passive. Let's go on to his weapon. Okay, so starting off with his weapon string, it is... Let me pull up the name real quick. Uh, Guaha style. Uh, it is a five-tap weapon combo. Five. So one, two, three, four, five. Um, yeah, pretty much like any other character. Uh, there's nothing really too special about it. It doesn't cost any stamina. And then his hold looks like this. Now this one does look a little cooler, and he moves towards his target, which is... I, I don't know a lot of... I don't play with a lot of sword users, but I think this is a good thing. Um, especially against bosses, because you can continuously do damage, especially when they're stunned and stuff. And a character that moves backwards, it's always awkward because you have to move forward, so he's got that going for him. And then his lunge looks like this. That was underwhelming, let me do that again. I don't want to aggro the guy over there, so... Yeah. Looks pretty cool. I'll show it, uh, I'll show it um, on this guy over here. <laughs> but the problem is that I'm very underleveled, so... I probably should have thought about this beforehand. Uh, but yeah, let's let's hit him a couple of times. Now this is how it looks if I'm just continuously holding my, I mean, moving towards him. All right, let's move out of the way a bit so that he moves towards us. Come on, buddy. All right, let's do the five tap again. So you can see the damage numbers right there. I do have crit equipped, so they might uh, be a bit different. Okay, and then let's do this one tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, I think that's enough of the weapon. Let's switch to the ability. Okay, he's still aggroed on me, but that's okay. Uh, the ability is where, where Jinsho actually comes in because I am personally convinced that this guy is a support. You can build him as a damage, as a main damage, definitely, and you can play him as a main damage, but I think uh, his strength comes from being a support. So his first ability, don't mind the levels right now. I'll explain that in a second. Um, his abilities are like what he's pretty good at. Uh, so his E is called uh, Gua Sword Fatal Rain Screen. And it does a couple of things. Initially, it's gonna do damage. So you have to use it while he's out. It'll do Hydro damage. You'll get uh, by default three uh, Rain Swords around you. And every time you get hit, one of those sh uh, swords will shatter and will give you a damage reduction. There's a, it's explained in the talent info. I'm not gonna go in depth as to how the mass works because I'm personally not good with it. Now this is good, you know, he's defensive, but the main thing, in my opinion, that you should care about is this last thing right here. 
Using this ability applies the wet status effect onto a character. So, um, if I have it out, and then I switch, I am wet, but I can also make uh, my targets wet. And I can apply Hydro, apply Hydro like that. So let me find this guy real quick. If I drop down to him... Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> my shield dropped, okay. Alright, I'm gonna show you the initial damage again. So this is the initial damage. So it hits twice and it applies wet on them. And now he is wet, I'm gonna make him dry off a bit. Until the wet status effect is gone. And then if I go to him again... He's wet again and I can get Electro Charge off that. As you saw. You also saw something else happen there, but that's something I'll get into in just a second. Okay, so it, it counts as a damage reduction, it counts as initial damage, and it applies wit. And this is where, in my opinion, it comes in really clutch. You know, it, it um, you, you pop it, you do damage, and then you switch. And then that character is tankier, and they can also apply wit. Alright, moving on to his ultimate, uh, called Rain Cutter. And this is, it's actually really simple. Uh, you basically put up like illusionary rain swords behind you and every time that you hit an enemy with a normal attack normal attack um, it'll trigger the, the the sword rain and it'll do hydro damage uh, and then yeah these effects carry over to another character that is the main thing I'm, I'm not gonna show it just yet uh, but basically what you do is you pull the swords out you switch character and then as long as you uh, melee hit or range hit um, the swords will do damage. And so it's really good on Catalyst or Bow users, in my opinion. Um, let's say that I'm fighting um, a fire enemy who's pretty far away, and I, I only have range. What I do is I pop my ultimate, I switch to, for example, a Ning, and I just do damage. It'll be Geo damage or whatever you're doing, maybe even physical damage if you have a bow. But then it'll also do Hydro damage on top of that because you have your ultimate out. Now, I'll show you it in action. Okay, so I'm very underleveled. This is quite difficult to do, but I found myself a Geo boss right here. <clears throat> so I'm gonna wait for my rain swords to be gone. Also, no, actually, I'll show you that in a second. So, okay, let me get rid of a shield first. No, don't shoot the barrels. Okay, that hit me, okay. So, you see how I'm doing Geo damage right now? I'm gonna use my ultimate, switch to Ning, and I'm doing Hydro and Geo damage. Now let me show you that on a melee character. You see those blue numbers right there? That's Hydro damage. And it stays up for a certain amount of time. These thingies right around me right now, those are uh, swords, yeah. And then you saw a secondary effect, which I'm gonna talk about in just a second. So let me get rid of this guy, and then we'll go over the rest of his kits. <clears throat> okay, I've kind of already spoiled a part of his kit. Oh, it's raining, how uh, convenient. <clears throat> I've already kind of shown you, or spoiled you, another part of his kit. But his, um, I think what you should call it is like a combat passive. Is when a rain sword is shattered, or when its duration expires, it regenerates the current character's HP based on 6% of Jinsho's max HP. Now you're thinking to yourself, okay, that's that's a healing ability. Yes, it is, but it is very weak. So don't think of Jingsho as a healer, but think of this as a very good add-on bonus. Now, when talking about a rain sword, I am 99% certain that it is either his uh, his E or his ultimate. Now, uh, by default, his E is only gonna have um, is only gonna have three swords. But uh, uh, constellations will change that. But okay, f we'll talk about the default version. So you get three shields here, uh, three swords here, and I think you get four swords here. So that's seven, if my math is correct, seven times uh, six. So if you activate both and they shatter, you get 42% of Jinsho's max HP as um, um, damage. Uh, or sorry, as healing on the character that it expires on, if that makes any sense. But obviously you're not going to spam your ult, so it's mainly for the rain swords. So in total you're looking at about 18%. Uh, so do you build them health? Well, that's completely up to you. I personally don't think 
he's a damage support so if you do want to build him uh i would put health on him just to get some use out of this passive but okay i'm not talking about the builds i'm talking about the character so i'm not going to go into in depth in that in depth into that uh but i am going to show you it once more right so my kitching is right now she's at a um, 10,040 hp um and my jinsho has 5,000 health so 18 percent of that should be a little less than a hundred if i'm not wait no not a hundred wait am i an idiot a little less than a thousand right yeah oh wait but sorry it's four okay so since i have five thousand hp and i have four uh swords because of my um because of a constellation that i am going to talk about later don't worry i will have four swords which should equate to 1250 health gained let's see if that actually is the case now i'm not gonna let them be shattered i'm just gonna wait their duration out okay it was wait i actually didn't pay attention to it i think it was around that number yeah, yeah it was around that number so now that i'm thinking now that i'm thinking about it and actually testing it out he does seem like he has some potential because if you have like what triple that amount of health you're looking at some pretty good heals. But yeah, that's his that's his talent. Um, let's look at his constellations. I forgot in which order I did my last videos. And this one's so unstructured, <laughs> I, I really don't know. Uh, we're gonna talk about constellations. Basically, Jinchu is my gacha character. I've, I've gotten him um, six times already. Um, whereas characters that I really like like Ning, or like maybe even Sucros, I've gotten once. And I've opened a lot of free wishes. But yeah, okay. His, um, his um, constellations. His first one is a good one. Increases the maximum number of rain swords by one. So that is an entire 6% extra health that you will gain from the heal. And also um, extra damage reduction because you have an extra sword. Second one extends the duration of his rain cutter, which is his ultimate, I'm fairly sure. And it decreases the enemy's hydro risk, so you'll do more hydro damage. His um, his third gives you um, three extra levels into your talents, and the max level uh, for them to be leveled is 15. Uh, this is for ultimate as well. Uh, okay, so basically, uh, fatal rain screen, if I'm not mistaken. So while your ultimate is active. Uh, while your ultimate is active, your E is going to do 50% more damage. Embrace of Rain increases the level of... So this is the same thing as this one, but then for your uh, your E. And then the last one... Oh, so if you use... I think, I'm, I'm fairly sure if you use your, um, your ult for a third time, it's going to do more damage and you're going to regenerate ultimate charge or energy particles. But I'm actually not entirely sure about that. Again, don't really know the character all too well. That is that. I'll show you my stats at level 40. Uh, obviously, artifacts and weapons. Um, yeah. I mean, there's no real point. But then what I do think is interesting is his ascension materials. So, uh, you're looking at Oceanids. You gotta farm those. You gotta farm these from Oceanids as well. Uh, Silic Flowers, which you can pretty easily farm in um, well, Wangshu Inn, and I also think in Liwei Harbor. Yeah, yeah, Liwei Harbor right here. So you can farm those pretty easily. And then Damaged Masks, which you can get from Hilly Trails. So his Ascension Materials are pretty okay, in my opinion. They're pretty easy to farm. And then lastly, how to obtain them, as I've talked about in... Um, my other videos as well. Right now, he has his banner. So if you were to wish for this banner, um, and you were to get a four star, then you would have a 50% uh, chance that it is one of these three. So 50 divided by three chance, which I think is 18, if I'm not mistaken, uh, to getting Jinsho. And then if you don't get any of these three, then on your next four star roll, you will get, um, one of the three. So basically every 20 wishes is gonna be a definite one of these. But then you could get unlucky and get Noel if you don't want her or unlucky and get Sucrose if you don't want her. 
But this is currently your best way of getting Jinsho. This banner is going to be disappear in 10 days. So if you're watching this past the clay banner, then I would recommend this banner right here. Or I would recommend just waiting. Um, because this banner isn't really that great if you're looking for characters. If you're free to play, I would recommend waiting for a banner where he comes back. Or maybe even just spending on this banner regularly. Uh, if you also kind of want the main character. If it is another banner. So, TLDR. Klee banner. If Klee banner is not there, then either save up for the next Klee banner or a banner where Jin shows in. If you don't want to save up, then open open the banner that is here if you want the main character. And if you really don't want that, then your last bet is this one. It's just that the chances of getting a five star, uh, oops, a five star uh, weapon in here are, well, they exist, whereas they don't in the other banner. So it's it's more difficult to get stuff here. But yeah. Um, this was pretty much my most unstructured video I've ever done, but I really don't know how else to put this video out. Um, I don't really play with this character a lot, although the, the healing is quite interesting. And I kind of wanted to, you know, post a, a video on him before he disappears. But at some point I might make a, a video using him in Spiral Abyss, where I'm gonna go more in-depth about him. So thank you guys for watching. If you're interested in other character reviews, I have done a couple and I will do a couple more and I can almost promise you that they'll be more structured than this one but yeah thank you guys for watching I'll see you in the next one goodbye